Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today we're going to work on a simple and easy winter watercolor landscape using watercolor and some white gouache. Look how pretty that is. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my Arches 100% cotton cold water pressed paper here taped down using my Scotch, Scots, I'm sorry, Scots magic tape. Um, I've explained many times in the video that I put this tape, take out a piece of tape, I put it on my pants, then put it on here because then the threads keep it from making it super sticky. Taped it down and I just drew a simple pencil line going down and up at an angle. And from here out, I'll get it wet. I'm just using a simple flat synthetic brush. There's no name for this particular brush. And I'm just going to get the paper wet that is above this line. Give it a good amount of water. And then I'm going to grab some. Let's take a big brush I have here. I have this Princeton Neptune brush. I'm going to grab some indigo. You can actually pull the paper up, hold it up, tilt it up, put some water so it bleeds down a little bit. I'm going to grab some ultramarine. Have that bleed down. It's going down this way. Kind of mush it. And it will bleed towards the edge. You can see that where we painted the water. If you want it darker on top, just add some more. Tilt it, tilt it, the paper. I have this taped down to a piece of cardboard. It's actually still a pad of watercolor. Now down in here, we're still wet. I might grab some of my paints gray. Just dab, whoops, it's a little too dark. I'll just put some over here. Let that bleed out over here. Now I'm gonna soak up, clean the brush off, pat it on the paper towel and grab some of that paint off. It just didn't do what I wanted it to do. I'm just dabbing around it. Around here. Grabbing it going over here. Gotta get this a little looser. There. That's the right consistency. A little looser. A little wetter, so it's lighter. Just dabbing. And this will be the backdrop. I'm gonna take some of that paint out, actually. Use it like a mop. Push down, pat your paper towel, push down, pat your paper towel, there you go. So you can take off that harsh color. You can go back in and dab it with the loose color. Again, on the side over here. It's a little too wet, so I'll use my brush again like a mop. And then go back in and dab. Just above the line that we drew. See, it has this beautiful bleeding effect. Has this mystical quality, <coughs> excuse me, mystical quality to it. And I'm gonna make it a little darker in the middle, so I'm gonna add some more concentrated Payne's Gray. Put a little one over here. This is such a fun thing to do because the wet on wet is just, to me, the funnest. 
still giving that mystical quality keeping the sky very muted I can see it bled through a little bit on the side over here I'll just take this brush push it there we go so it looks intentional you can always find ways to fix the watercolor and that's still kind of drying if you still want it to have an even deeper go back in and add some more concentrated Payne's gray Again, just dabbing it on the edge. No. And it will bleed out. Look at that. It already looks like a magical wintry landscape. I'll clean that. I go in and grab some very loose, wet ultramarine. Just gonna play with it very lightly, keeping the edge. So if it hits the edge, it's gonna bleed. Try not to do that. Or you wait till this is dry. Go back in and just whoosh around this blue. Like so. And then go over here on this side, grabbing it, just whooshing around, just adding color to that white area. And then the bottom, getting it really wet. Adding some to the edge. This is so simple and fast. Make it as blue as you want it. Now see that bled. So what I can do is just take a piece of tape, paper towel and Dab it. And lift up that paint, and it won't do that. See? Fix that problem. Go back in a little more down here. Maybe a little paint's gray. Give it some more depth. Back on here. Be very sweet, simple winter watercolor. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry and then come back. Okay, once that's dry, we're gonna put in our little branches in here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. So in this middle area where it's blotted, we're gonna put a little tree with a thin brush, the smallest one you have. If you don't wanna do that, you could probably use a pen and ink. And you just put the little tree branches like so. Um, you could use Payne's Gray, you could use black. However, so that's Payne's Gray. If you wanted to make it darker, put some black there. So you can see it better. Just make little tree branches. All coming out from this area. See that? Over in here. And this over, same thing.
all these little tree branches. I feel like the snowy scene is very therapeutic. You can picture this in your mind, how austere and calm it looks. Just the tree branches forking out. I'm not a big fan of the winter. <laughs> I'm really a summer girl. But winter has its beauty. There's some calmness and stillness about it. And it, I think it teaches us patience, which I'm lacking big time. So you want to do this to the, all the blotch areas that we did before. And then we'll come back and we'll add in the fun elements. Okay, now that we've finished all our trees, we can go back into areas in the snow. And we could either use the Payne's Gray, black, or dark brown. Just make a little sweeping where the grass would be in the snow. Or you don't have to do it all. You can just leave it alone if you want. Just adding a different element. When that's done, I'm going to grab white gouache, which I have here. Everyone's in it gouache. You want to get it fairly loose. Now I know people have mentioned you can use a toothbrush. I know I can. I know you can use a toothbrush. You don't have to use a toothbrush. You can use a toothbrush. You can use a paintbrush. You can use a bristle brush. Um, let me get this loose. I have used many times. As you've seen, this brush, it's a bristle for acrylic paints. I think it works well. It has the same effect as a toothbrush would. Get it fairly wet, and look at that. See, just like the toothbrush. Tiny little specks. Might need to add a little thicker paint so you can see that. blow this up so you can see the snow. See? Adding the snow. Just like Christmas time. Just a magical get this a little wetter. Yeah, I like it when it's big and small. Looks like real snow. That's just me. And blah, blah. Now that my finger is all white. Okay. And there you have it. And we'll just peel off this tape and reveal our masterpiece. Simple, sweet winter watercolor landscape. Isn't that pretty? Can you see the little snowflakes? It just has this calming, soothing, beautiful quality to it. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by, and have a great day.